السلام علیکم دوستو آپ سب کا کیا حال ہے جیسا کہ ٹائٹل دیکھ کے آپ کو اندازہ ہو گیا ہوگا کہ ہم آج بات کرنے والے ہیں شرجیل خان کے بارے میں جی تو دوستو جیسا کہ آپ کو پتا ہے شرجیل خان پر سے فرس کلاس اور ڈومیسٹک کرکٹ پر سے پبندی ہٹ چکی ہے اس کے بارے میں بات کریں گے اس سے پہلے آپ سب سے گزارش ہے کہ میرے چینل کو سبسکرائب کر لیجئے تاکہ نئی آنے والی ویڈیو آپ سب سے پہلے مل سکے جی تو پاکستانی کرکٹ ٹیم میں جب تیز ترین گیم کرنے والا شاہد افریدی جب ریٹائرمنٹ لے چکا تو اس وقت اور کوئی کھلاڑی نظر نہیں آ رہا تھا جو تیز کھیل سکے شاہد افریدی دوہ دار بیٹنگ ویسے مشہور تھے اس کے بعد شرجیل خان واحد پلیئر تھا جو کہ شاہد افریدی کی جگہ سمال سکتا تھا تو ابھی اس کے سے پبندی ہٹ چکی ہے لیکن انٹرنیشنل کرکٹ میں بھی اس کی پابندی برقرار ہے ایک سوال کے جواب میں احسان مانی اور ہیڈ کوچ مصباح الحق سے سوال کیا گیا صحافی نے کیا کہ کیا شرجیل خان کو ٹیم میں دوبارہ موقع ملے گا تو اس پر مصباح الحق نے کہا کہ اگر ڈومیسٹک کرکٹ میں اچھا کھیل کھیلا تو ضرور موقع ملے گا اس سے پتہ چلتا ہے کہ شرجیل خان ہو سکتا ہے ٹی ٹوینٹی ورلڈ کپ میں کھیلے کہ آپ شرجیل خان کو کرکٹ میں واپس دیکھنا چاہتے ہیں کمنٹس باکس میں لازمی کمنٹ کر کے ضرور بتائیں شرجیل خان جو اپنی شارٹس کی وجہ سے بہت مشہور ہے Ten off three balls. Shajil Khan getting after Barry McCarthy. Six overs gone. 28 for one. Taking that test again. Oh, at the moment, bowlers are taking a test against this man, Shajil. Oh, it looks so good. And that's his 50. What a 50. It came in no time. Two sixes, six boundaries. Pakistan are 77 for one after that enormous six from Shajil. Grounds here in, pa in, in Pakistan in Ireland aren't big enough for Shajil. Once you come into his slot, he really does hit the ball really cleanly. He's looking very dangerous. Oh, it's a top edge. Is it going to carry? One bounce. Parker just unable to get around. A little bit of a let off. So we're going to swing, swing hard away. Bit of a chance, maybe. Yes, hello everyone. Um, hello, John. Yes, it was a bit of a chance. Just got a little bit high on him. Got it high on the bat. Not surprising. Seeing that he's a fairly tall bowler. Outside edge, four more. They've taken out the slip for Chase. Races away to the boundary, second four. A bit streaky there by Shajil. Didn't mean to get it that fine. Interesting to see how they play against Chase. He He's fairly tall, so he'll extract that bounce from just short of a length, which is going to pin the batsman back into the crease. He's not going to be able to get that stride into the ball. Uh, pulled away. Murta's down there. He cut that one off. No, he won't. Just too quick for Murta. Couldn't get down. Third, four, shaking the head from Peter Chase. And this is a good over for Pakistan after the drinks break. Shajil pushing on. This one through, then a second ODI 50, pushing into the 60s. Pulled away, big hit. Oh, carries the rope, got out of that one early. Just going to check which side of the rope advanced. The grand staff down there were pretty quick to signal the six. Shot. 
he is very, very impressive on pull the shot. It's the best way I can describe it. Oh, he goes big. That's into the crowd. Massive hit by Shargil Khan. That was all timing. Doesn't overhit it, allows the ball to come to him and just a flick of the wrist. And off it goes. Short pulled away again. Too high for the fielder. Safely carries the advertising hoarding. Another six for Shargil Khan. First we saw timing and now we saw power. Great timing off his legs and now he's been so hot on this shot all day just back of a limp swivels around hits it straight over the deep square legs head 23 runs off the over 21 gone it's 136 for two short pulled away again too high for the fielder, it safely carries the advertising hoarding. Another six for Shargil Khan. First we saw timing and now we saw power. Great timing off his legs and now he's been so hot on this shot all day. Just back of a limp, swivels around, hits it straight over the deep square legs head. 23 runs off the over, 21 gone, it's 136 for two. Straight down the leg side a little bit. Oh, and there it is, misfield. Went past O'Brien on the half volley. It was a tricky one to get. The hundred comes up for Shargil Khan. His teammates down to applaud him. Great innings for Shargil Khan. His first ODI hundred. And his teammates delighted with him. Look what it means to Shargil. Khan and there's huge applause around the ground as well from all the Pakistan supporters here. A magnificent century. Tickles it down the leg side. Bit of a misfield. The fourth fastest century in ODI cricket for Pakistan. We saw plenty of timing, power. They had everything. Great footwork against spinners. It looks a class act. But they just can't stop the boundaries coming. That is Shargi can sick maximum. Takes the score on the 170 for two. And the Irish spinners are certainly under a huge amount of pressure. Unable to stop the single and seemingly unable to stop the boundary. Seems to have it all. Power, timing hand placement oh and a great catch in the crowd short ball brought back and pulled over to Joyce at Coy corner for another maximum end of the 20th over Pakistan 198 for two looks of it magnificent shot from Sharji again picked up but this time well over the square leg boundary for another maximum well it doesn't matter if you bowl over the wicket or around the wicket he is hot on that shot got this great ability to just little forward press and just transfer a weight and he allows his hands to get underneath the ball and always seems to middle it straight into the crowd 
he's not making any attempt to actually keep that ball down away. Sure, he's not. He's, he's actually just he's just getting on it and helping it on his way, using the pace. Leave him there, nice and high. What he does is tries to get underneath the ball. Change of plan from Kevin O'Brien, but not able to contain Chargill. This time, long off the long go back. We've brought up square leg, but offering that width. He's just got the hands through the ball. And the Pakistani supporters getting a little bit carried away. Pakistan moves swiftly off, double Nelson as Chargill moves to 152. The third fastest 150 in ODI history, overtaking Luke Ronchi against Sri Lanka in 2015, third behind Davy de Villiers and Shane Watson.